No, you know, the first method is to create an array. And no, for the two cases, we need to create an array of reactors. So for the, the for this first case, um I need to create a parameter iteration. So this is how many times do I want to uh, run the sensitivity analysis to repeat that I value. Then create an array of um, the values I want to use for the current. So I call it I sense. So it's just an array and I'll put, put those values in that array or in the, like a list of those numbers I want to use. Then create an array of reactors. So an array of, rather, an array of the model that I I created. So remember, remember I, have, I, have, I have a model created here in the model. So I've created like several copies of that. Now, in this case, five copies of that. So with for each of that, I'm going to set the value of i, i sense. Okay, so this is the list that I want to use. So for the first iteration, there will be, I'm, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to add anything. The second case, I'll add one. The third case, I'll add two. The, the fourth case, I'll add three. The fifth case, I'll add four. Okay, so what I need to do is that for each iteration, so that's for k equals one up to the number of iterations that I have, then go inside that model. So when k is one, that means I'm doing the first case here, then set the value. So you will just grab the value of i sense that correspond to that k value. So k is one, then what is the what is the i sense value in the first position? Zero. So you're going to do i equals zero plus one. Then, then the initial condition stays the same. All right, I just look through each of them and, and keep the value of the initial condition the same. Then if I do this, then I can run that model five times, changing the value of i to this to these values. Okay. So that's the first, that's the first uh, case. Then that's one way of doing it. So if I run and send my result to Jeremy's, um, then we can see the result. Uh, problem. Okay, let me use the Jeremy's one to be easier to view. To the Add line so we expand the result case file. Um, problem one, I non home. Okay, problem two, I non home. So, what I'm trying to do here is to put together all the profiles to see how um, the, the current responds to the change in the value of the reference current. So, you can see here that. Um, the profiles are not overlapping. It means that it actually responds to change in the value of the reference current. The 